There we go. <laughs> Is it working? I think so. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach, aka Crochet Me Zeddy, and I'm here with Adele from Crow of the Flow. Hey, hey! <laughs> and we're doing a little crochet vlog today where we are checking out our friend Bella's creation, yes. <laughs> art creation for award the- Award winning. Bella has won this amazing award at the end of last year for a crochet creation in a wearable art competition that she uh -huh. took part of and now it's in this exhibition that is in Melbourne. It's kind of, we've gone on a little bit of a day trip yeah. to get here and we're going to check it out. Yeah. If people were watching my Yanni Awards, you would have seen one of the nominations for, I think it was art piece or creation of the year was the Dear Babushka, which is the piece that we're going to go see. Mm -hmm. So I have a picture of it here. I'm going to block Adele with it, but we will <laughs> put a picture. How dare you? <laughs> we'll put a picture up. So you see what I mean, but we're going to go see the piece in real life and just, I don't know, it seems like a fun thing to do today. Why not? It's a yeah. beautiful like autumn day. Why not go and Let's check out some amazing crochet art? Celebrate our crochet friends. Yay! One thing that I was going to talk about was actually in, I don't know if you knew this, but in Wellington we have a World of Wearable Arts competition every single year and it's like, I mean I don't know how it's been going since COVID, but it is like, it's essentially like a giant <laughs> runway fashion show. They book out like one of the giant venues in Wellington and they do a whole performance artsy thing every single year. Do we need to do a crochet holiday and go over and see this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think there's been crochet pieces in that before, but like wearable arts, fashion things, in my experience, have always been very, very cool. So I'm excited to mm -hmm. see not only the crochet piece, but whatever else is in this exhibition. Because it's more than just the crochet, right? I don't know. We're going to find <laughs> out. <laughs> if it's not, I just lied to everyone, but... Uh, whatever. We get to see some cool art. Yeah. Let's yeah. go do it. <laughs> First thoughts, Adele. It's just, I'm gobsmacked. It's so beautiful. The colors and the textures and the work, the work that would, has gone into this. Would you ever make something like this? <laughs> <laughs> So like all of these are made with like different granny squares all the way around. I thought it was going to be like a different kind of textured like ruffle that just like lengthened out, but it's actually just like a giant compiling of granny squares, which is cool. The, the entire thing is insane. Like this would have taken months and whatnot. The same question that you asked me, would you ever make something I would like never this? make this. <laughs> I, I don't have the time. I'm too busy making plushies. <laughs> and why do we make plushies? Because they get done quicker. <laughs> Yeah, but this is amazing. <laughs> Dale just pointed this out, but it's actually just been fully like weighted down. This is how peppy it is. <laughs> this must have been so tiring to wear. <laughs> and it was up in Queensland, right? So it would have been. Oh, yeah. The sweat. This poor, this poor amazing, amazing model. Just hats off. Yeah. All around. Any final thoughts? I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm so impressed. I nearly cried. I didn't cry, but I nearly cried just at the sheer amount of work <laughs> and effort and just time and beauty of it all. Mm. What do you think? My favorite part was when the ladies came in and they said, look at that knitted one. <laughs> <laughs> and the look at the camera and, the face. Face. and then we looked at each other like. <laughs> no. But also like they're of a certain generation that they should know the difference, is yeah. my opinion. Yeah. And then I got complimented for crocheting in front of it and it's being so, a man who crochets. It's so. just be a man who crochets. 
it's very very cool so mm. would recommend if people are nearby uh even if you're not nearby make the trip because it yeah. is worth it yeah i don't know how long it's on until but we'll put a little text bubble somewhere in here at least to let you know some details days. at least a few more days week hopefully hopefully this vlog is out by the time it's still out here <laughs> and if it isn't and you missed out on it then you just missed out on it so you where were you, you? Yeah, snooze, you lose, you losers. No, I'm kidding. I love you all. Well done, Bella. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, yes, well done, Bella. Like, just again. Yeah, I will tag her below in the description. So Extremely yeah. well-deserved. Yeah, it is. The grand champion, grand master. What was it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll put that in a text bubble as well. We should know, considering we made the trip out here. You know it's award winning and then there was a lot of work put into it because we were following Bella on TikTok and all her crochet lives, creating mm -hmm. this masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And it's very cool to see in person. And it's very cool to see someone who also crochets like absolutely thriving with their art. Sometimes I wonder about like what is crochet art and whether like what am I doing? Is that what is, art? Where's the is, line? What is the line yeah. between craft and art? And mm -hmm. this is definitely far on the art side. Yeah. The spectrum starts at this in terms of art. Yeah, I think like when I look at something like this, this is when I start calling my things crafts. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if that's like a craft derogatory. It's, you, sh you shouldn't be comparing. It's not a no. comparison, that's not what we're about. No. Comparison is the, what is it? Thief of joy or something like that? Yes, you're mm. absolutely right. But I am comparing and this yeah. is so much better than anything I've ever done. Yes, <laughs> like, I anything can... I will ever do in my life is just I don't think, I, I think I like look at these pieces and like I would love to make something like this and I just know I won't. Mm. Like it would be very cool to feel so you know, grandiose and make something that's like such an amazing piece and put all the time and effort into it. Yeah. But I won't, I don't, I can't. I just, <laughs> well, it's like, <laughs> it's, one day. it's the achievement to go, I did that. Yeah. Like that is such a cool thing to have. And also like even understanding the whole sculptural side of it all and just like getting all those pieces together and not only just having them put together, but then having them actually be weighted to the right amount that it's not gonna like stretch and the yarns and make it sag or anything like that. Cause I'm sure there was lots of trial and error and testing. Yeah. And all. I, I'm, I'm sure that she did all of that with the model as well. I would, yeah, I would. Assume I, so, because I, I think like I looking at it in the background, I think there's actually like different pieces that are pieced onto like a like a jumpsuit almost. Mm. I don't know. I, my brain this can't is comprehend our, like, it. Super like in <laughs> we really like, know the detail. No, no, we are not uh, clothing designers. Sadly, uh, we make plushies. Yay! <laughs> so. Craft. We'll leave. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll leave the art to the art, and we'll leave the craft to us, the crafters. No. Yeah. She made a plushie for the first time, like just uh, I think just after, or Did maybe she? while she was doing this. So, like, hey, we could dream. Yeah. I mean, maybe one day we'll make like a plushie this big. Like, oh my god, that'd be yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> like, imagine like making like a giant dragon. It's got like the scales and like crocodile. Just or a giant crocodile. Um, and just making it like so detailed with the different yarns, kind of like a Alexandria Massey and how she did those bugs. Mm -hmm. Cause she like incorporates a lot of like, she like puts like spray paint and stuff into yeah. them. She incorporates like a bunch of different like things. Like the layering of all of the work that she does is kind of, you know, reminiscent of this for sure. Yeah. Mm. Art. Art. And here I am making like a little derpy cha chameleon with some bright sweaters <laughs> and being like, <laughs> Don't disregard. It's all, <sighs> it's all worthwhile. The thief of joy, huh? <laughs> we're bringing joy to the world. That's, yeah. what matters. That's what matters. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go see if there's a local yarn store around and go check out some yarn. So let's go do that and let's. Let's leave. No, let's. <laughs> let's get out of here. The people <laughs> think that's knitting and I can't deal with it. A little bit. Oh, that was what I was going to ask you about. Is it too noisy? No, microphones. Do you have oh, a microphone? I don't have a microphone. So sorry, everyone, if this is really noisy here, but we're going to play a little game with Adele because we didn't end up going to a yarn store. We just went to a cafe because we actually didn't need to buy yarn and we don't have the money for new yarns. So we're being responsible. We're being responsible and we're just sitting at a cafe crocheting, but I thought this would be a perfect time to do a little hot seat quiz with Adele and just ask her a bunch of quick, quick crochet questions and see how she answers. Quick crochet questions. <laughs> All right, Adele, question number one, where does the name Pro the Flow come from? I just like the balance of the way that it kind of sounded. <laughs> and also I aspire to be able to crow with the 
go with the flow. But realistically, that's just not how I work. <laughs> so it's an aspirational name. Beautiful. Favourite yarn to use? I couldn't possibly narrow it down. I do really like Baby Snuggle from Hobie or Honey Bunny, basically the same thing. But I like cotton as well. Oh, interesting. Yes. Need to for the eyes. You have to have a cotton for the crochet eyes because it's just the way. Beautiful. Pastels or brights? I have to say brights. Brights. brights? You're going to pick brights. brights. Okay. I'm going to pick brights. Especially neons. Yes, please. Itsy or your own website? My own website. <laughs> Do you even need to ask that? Clothing or plushies? Plushies! <laughs> Why do you make so many Australian animals? <laughs> because Australian animals are the best. They have the most beautiful like colour range and colour dictates a lot of what I make and I'm inspired by what I'm surrounded by. Stunning. And not enough people make them. With what you do, is it an art or is it a craft? <laughs> it's a craft. Beautiful. And that is absolutely fine. <laughs> I'm not afraid of that. Final question, what are you making right now? I'm making a koala. Beautiful. Uh, thanks Adele. What's your most controversial crochet take? <laughs> um, controversial crochet take, I... It's probably me and blanket yarn. I'm not a fan of blanket yarn. And I think that upsets some people, but also I'm not sorry. I have my opinions and I'm gonna stick by them. Tell us about your signature backwards cap thing and where that kind of came from. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why I wear a cap all the time? No. It's because I wear it. Okay, I wear a cap all the time because I can't be bothered doing my hair for a video. And so I just had a cap lying next to me. And so I just put it on every time I can't be bothered. If my hair looks nice that day, I will not be wearing a cap. So most of the time your hair doesn't look nice. Yeah, this is saying? pure laziness. <laughs> nice, I love that. <laughs> I'll ask the same of you. Plushies or wearables? Plushies. Although I really love a wearable. I only really want to do like knit wearables. Mm. Although I've been really wanting to do like a Will and Buggers crochet sweater for a while. So. When did you start knitting? I feel so um, poor. too. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I started knitting when I last went to America and made it the moment taught me. Tell us about your name, Crochet Musetti, and where that kind of came from. <laughs> so the Crochet Musetti name was, it was a play on words of choke me daddy. <laughs> and I thought it'd be funny and I wanted to start with the word crochet. I don't know. And now it's stuck. So sorry, not sorry. Are you in fact? Zaddy. <laughs> Am I in fact a Zaddy? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the word Zaddy is like a young. Was it meant to be? It's meant to be like a young, hot daddy type thing. I think that's where the word came from. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yes, own it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it where I can get it. What are you making at the moment? I am working on the Pride Chameleon. I'm making a bunch of Pride Chameleons for my next pattern coming out sometime in May. So, just before Pride Month. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Bye. All right, we are finishing up for the day. We're gonna head back home. We've had a big day out, and I will see you guys all in the next vlog, which I don't know when that'll be, but yay! Yeah, thanks for joining in, Adele. Where can we find you and go support you? I am Crow with the Flow on YouTube and Instagram, TikTok. You can find me there. Perfect, and I will have all the links down in the description below. But apart from that, thanks for joining in, everyone, and we will see you on. Yeah, I already said that. See you in the next thanks time. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for coming along. Mm -mm 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 -mm